Our vocabulary word for the day is aphasia. I've been saying it as aphasia for the last, I guess, 11 years since I had my stroke. If you haven't seen the news stories, it looks like Bruce Willis is retiring from acting because he has been diagnosed with this and he's having troubles with it. Now, there are a lot of different types of aphasia that a person can have. I mean, the symptoms are vast. And this is something that, yeah, I, I do have mild symptoms of, relatively mild. Some people out there really struggle. This is something that pops up once in a while with me. Sometimes it's trying to find the words that I want to say. Sometimes it's mispronouncing the words or trying to say one word and something else comes out. You'll see edits in my videos. That's why. As a DJ, you know, the key is rest. If I go into an event tired, if I'm prepping the whole day before the event, dogs, forgive the dogs, I'm exhausted when I get there. If my load in is difficult or the stuff is too heavy or I've taken too much time to load in, uh, you know, that can make me tired and make this particular condition worse. And you don't want that when you're DJing. You want to be sharp. Not only to, you know, say things and pronounce things right, but you want to be able to play the right songs and not get confused. You don't want to say the wrong bride and groom's name. It's important not to do that. So rest is important. I'm gigging on Saturday. Today is Thursday. I will be doing my prep today. I'll be resting tomorrow, which is Friday. I will be gigging on Saturday. That's the best I can do to help curb this as much as I can. Also, you know, when I'm subcontracting from another DJ, sometimes they'll just give me their paperwork. They'll say, here you go. I have a really hard time understanding what they've written. I don't know why. I mean... It's the same thing I write down in a Word document, but I do it in a way that I understand it and I can comprehend it. I have to rewrite everything very carefully because if I just brought that to an event, I'd be lost, you know? Sometimes when you take your time, when you're speaking, you slow down a little bit. For me, it gets better. Again, we don't know how this is affecting Bruce Willis, where he's struggling with this, but I mean, as an actor, or a performer, I can totally understand why this could be a problem. I mean, think about the dialogue this man has to memorize. And, you know, production schedules, especially the type of acting he does, real physical stuff sometimes, can be, you know, just very physically demanding, exhausting. I get it. Sometimes when I'm really tired, a whole sentence will come out just gobbledygook, just all slurs. Sometimes people do think you're drunk when you're tired because you are slurring things more than normal. Oddly enough, I do better speaking sometimes when I'm in a rested position than I do when I'm in a more contorted position or maybe even standing sometimes. Sitting, I speak better than when I stand. <laughs> Isn't that weird? But it's true. Stuff you got to think about when you're out gigging. You don't want to exhaust yourself. Which, you know, Again, rest is a big thing. And just being as physically fit as you can. Anytime you have any kind of affliction, especially if you were 100% normal and then all of a sudden you have a problem, a lot of people will say, hey, look, I'm going to get 100% recovery before I get on with my life. I, I would say that's ill-advised. I think what you should do is aspire to recover as much as you can. But in the meantime, you should develop what you have left as much as you can. For instance... You know, with my stroke, physically, I've lost most of my right side for all practical purposes. My hand doesn't work really well. My leg, yeah, I can walk, but I got muscles that haven't kicked back in. My ankle doesn't work. The arm only does what it does. But, you know, this side, you know, I got guns. Never had guns before. And my left leg is incredibly strong. In fact, I can do squats, like, all day. Most of that I'm doing on my left leg. My right leg is just there for balance. So I'm really strong. Having said that, if I keep my weight down, I'm even stronger and I have more energy because you know, when I'm walking around all day or loading into an event or whatever the case might be, if I've got to lug around an extra 10, 20 pounds, 
it's it's exhausting. So, you know, right now I'm a little heavy. If I slim down, I'm going to do better. I need to slim down to be at my best. It's going to help not only my energy level, but like my cognitive level. When I'm using all of my energy just to move around, it's less energy I have to dedicate to thought and speech. And, you know, reading comprehension, like I said with the the forms and things that I have a hard time understanding. I also have a hard time understanding things like bills and bank statements. I struggle with that stuff. I don't know why. I mean, I know what it is, but I really struggle with it. There's a measurement I have to do on the Mustang I'm working on right now. I know exactly how to do it, but I'm struggling with executing it. I'm going to have to get help with it because there's some kind of block here with that. I can't do it. I, I think I understand what people are saying to me, but I do have some directional insanity, you know, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, which is another thing, you get a little forgetful sometimes, but I confuse left and right, and which is ridiculous because my left is my dominant side. I should know this is left, but when someone says go left, sometimes I'll go right instead. I got to think about it. Ooh, which way is left and which way is right? It's goofy. Cognitive stuff is goofy and nobody really knows a lot about it. Unfortunately, the brain's still a big mystery, but uh, I wish him well. And yeah, that's where I'm at. That's that's what's going on with me. A lot of you probably have seen it. Sometimes I screw up words in videos. Sometimes I just leave them in there. <laughs> Sometimes I edit them out. That's why you see the edits. But anyway, I just thought I'd share. And this is just a vlog. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be doing some stuff on the prep tonight and talk about how this prep is going and talk about how it's going with the client. It's a little different. It's a cool client, but... The prep is a little different this time around. I'll explain it soon. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Practice and enjoy.